welcome to natural skincare school everybody in this video i'm going to show you how to make a simple lotion so this is an introductory uh, lotion making course is for um, students of natural skincare school and those that are looking to learn how to make lotion hello my name is victoria the uh, certified cosmetic hair chemist i've worked with several you know uh, formulas over the years i've made lotion toners and every other skincare product in the natural sector so i love to make motion this is what i do this is what i dedicate my life to and that's why i launched naturalskincareschool.com to teach today how to make safe and stable skincare products that is free from toxic chemicals so in this video i'll show you how to make your own lotion very simple way and if you want to make more lotion head over to natural skincare school you have access to my formulas we, we i teach cosmetic formulation at naturalskincareschool.com by project so each project is a product on its own and i have step-by-step -step instruction for complex project i have video with it i do not teach beginners that's why i'm doing this introductory uh, course for everyone to have access to now to make lotion we make lotion using a process called oil and water emotion i wrote this down today so i can bring my message home so what is ask me what is oil in water emotion is a process whereby we mix oil and water together using an emotion naturally when you have when you put oil and water in uh together okay this is water and if you had oil to it it will it will stay on top of it i just want to relate this to you if you had the oil to it it will just stay, stay suspended as you can see oil and water will natural not mix but when you introduce an emulsifier okay it will mix we introduce an emulsifier and heat so just want to do that to you as um, as an illustration so we mix oil with water using an emulsifier the process is very simple you make sure you get yourself two beakers okay very simple this is where you can never get simpler than this I want you to have an open mind if you have never made lotion before. I have an open mind to learn, okay? This course that I'm giving away for free costs more and more. This is all people pay a lot of money for online, but hey, what do I want to get by now? Explaining to you, I want you to get it better. Especially to those that have been perhaps, you know, they're not happy with me. They want me to teach them via WhatsApp. I don't teach, I cannot teach in each student. I rather teach in this uh, mode. So, put we're going to use water oil and emulsifier this is the basic ingredient for making lotion now our water we're going to add glycerin to it why do we have glycerin today because glycerin is an emectant to help give you a radiant skin so that's why we're going to add glycerin. so this is what i'm going to use water and glycerin i'm going to add it in a beaker i'm going to add oil and emulsifier in another beaker okay the oil beaker is going to be smaller than the water beaker because i'm going to use oil and water in motion meaning i'm going to add my oil to the water after eating both separately so without further ado our cosmetic ingredient supplier today is pure blend naturals okay they sell uh, also cosmetic and also um cosmetic raw materials Pure Blend Natural is owned by Formulator. That's why I always encourage every Formulator to buy their skincare ingredient from people that know about skincare ingredient and their application. So let's move further. If you want to buy anything that I use here today, you're going to see it at Pure Blend. But also look in the description box below for everything I use, the tools I use, the beakers I use, and the raw materials I use. So open your mind, start with an open mind. As a motivator also, I encourage people that whatever you want to do in life, you have to have an open mind. It's very important to your success in life. So today, we're going to first, as you can see my recipe, also look in the description box below, you have access to the recipe also. I'm going to add 80 grams of water with 5 grams of glycerin. That's my first set. So, I'm using an aqua weight here. You can look in the description box below for how to get your own. This is a very good uh, scale, especially when you are first getting started. You need it to make accurate uh, measurements. So when you put your beaker on this, you're just going to press tear, press tear. We're going to measure 80 grams of water.
also look in the description box below for where to get this uh rubber thing that i'm using very good for formulation so 80 gram of water gram of water then i'm going to use a uh, glycerin usp i always encourage people get your glycerin usp from purebladenaturals.com glycerin usp version is the best version to use for cosmetic formulation it is the best great for don't just buy any i know some of you buy glycerin on amazing or whatnot most of the the, uh, the version the great on amazing are not usp so Pure Blend Natural only supply USP cosmetic grade ingredients. So head over and get your own USP version. This is the one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. We are going to measure five gram of it into our distilled water. Five grams into our... Then you're going to cover it with a foil cut to the size of your beaker. Cut a foil to the size of your beaker and cover it. I'll show you where to put it later on. Then we're going to take our second beaker, the smaller beaker. The smaller beaker will take our emulsifier. I'm using five gram of emulsifying wax today by Pure Blend Natural. So measure five gram of emulsifying wax. I always encourage you people to get emulsifying wax NF. Okay, this is a brand. That's why I keep telling you, Pure Blend Natural will carry the cosmetic, the best fashion to make your own skincare products. So make sure you go for the NF one, the plant derived one. Is the emulsifying wax NF? Look in the description box below for uh, the link to it. Then we're going to add olive oil. Our oil of choice today is olive oil. Very good oil. And do not just buy any olive oil. Like I always said before, some of you will buy any olive oil you see. No, go for extra virgin olive oil. It's supplied to us today by pureblendnaturals.com. So this is where you get your authentic version of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We're going to use it at five. We're going to use 10 gram. So add the olive oil, 10 gram of olive oil to five gram of emulsifying wax. The scale that I'm using is called Haku weight scale. Okay. I have a link in the description for what you need to get. You need to get this scale as when you are beginning formulated even when you have advanced you can use it to measure up to 0 0.1 gram up to 1000 gram so it can start from zero i noticed that it's not good with zero but at least it start from 0 0.2 that's good for you to measure little little amount of ingredients so we'll turn that off so you have your oil ingredients so we're going to cover that so you cut a foil paper to the size okay of that of your beaker then we're going to put everything we're going to put everything inside our water bath i encourage you my friend to get yourself a water bath do not use a uh, double boiler double boiler is just not for it's for people that are just starting out okay put both of them in your water bath my previous video is on how to use a water bath i intentionally did that video so as to to predict precede this video so put both in your water bath and you cover it so we're going to allow both to melt so give them a good time to melt both of them will melt in like uh, within five set your water bath to at least 78 degrees celsius do that 
because uh, in the process of its uh, exchange you're going to lose some heat you're going to get so it's perfect 78 degree is what you should set your water bath to and then we're going to come back in five minutes to continue our lotion making process welcome back friends the next set step is to take our oil melted oil and water and mix both together so we're going to take these two out i'll set it aside temporarily So I'm going to use this to, if you need to protect your, the surface you are using because they're hot. So I have the water face and I have the melted oil too. So now we're going to complete our oily water emulsion. This is the process we use to make uh, lotion. So you're going to add your oil to water. Okay. The oil already has an emulsifier. So add oil to water and mix while adding. Then we're going to use an immersion blender to blend it because this uh, this is too small. I'm going to transfer it into a bigger bucket. And I'm going to use my immersion blender to blend it well. So quickly blend it using an immersion blender. You're going to do a lot of blending and resting. Uh, blending is a big part of lotion making. This is oil and water in motion. We add oil to water and we're going to blend, blend and blend. It will seem as if it's not going to emulsify. The process of emulsification is hard, especially when you're using an immersion blender. When you're using an homogenizer, it's faster, okay? Uh, the difference between an immersion and an homogenizer is that an immersion blender is going to pump here Sometimes it may be stronger than the homogenizer, so keep that in mind. But an homogenizer will not pump too much here. It may not even pump any here into your product at all. At all. So we blend, wait, okay? You need a lot of patience when you are making lotion. Patience is very important. It's one of the good skills of a cosmetic from later. <laughs> We're almost there, so don't close this video yet. I want you to follow me. If this is the first video you're going to watch to the hands for making lotion, it's worth every bit of it. Just as if you are in a classroom, you are taking a lecture, you have to wait to the hands. So wait to the hands of this video before you close the screen. So stay with me here. So I'm going to stop here. The next thing we're going to need now is you need a stirrer, okay? You're going to need a stirrer to stir your lotion. Just stir. The function of a stirrer is to remove the excess air that was pumped in. Your lotion will thicken with time, so do not worry about it thickening. Thickening is going to come with time. At this, at this stage, what you want to do next is to allow it to cool down and keep it in the fridge. You either allow it to cool down and keep it in the fridge and use it within two weeks, okay? So you can use this within two weeks. It's good to go, very good to go, and you can, you know, enjoy it and uh, make more in the next two weeks, okay? Or if you want to keep it out of the fridge, you're going to add um you're going to add a preservative okay that's about it for this uh, video if you want to learn more about lotion making head over to naturalskinkescu.com where i teach my students how to make 
different project, uh, different skincare pro, one project at a time. So I do not teach beginners at natural skincare. That's why I use natural skincare school YouTube channel to teach you the fundamentals so you can develop with more stable formulas that has more ingredients uh, at natural. As you can see, it's this is a lotion you want to have. This is the consistency of a lotion. And that's exactly what we have now. A lotion is different from a butter in that it's it's thick, it's not thick, it's lighter. Okay, so if you want to keep it in the fridge, you can add uh, 0.5, you know, gram of liquid Jama Plus, or you can add one gram of GeoCard ECT. Okay, but remember, any any addition you add to this you have to remove it from the water face. So to add a preservative, you can add liquid Gemma Plus at 0.5 gram. You're going to remove that from the water. Or if you, if you use Geocard ECT, make sure you remove that from the water. And that's it, that's about it. So enjoy your lotion. If you want to learn more about making great skincare, uh, skincare products, uh, no. this is a channel for you. Also on this channel, I recommend different skincare products to you that are done. Uh, by either myself or my students or my clients so this is a channel for you click that subscribe button click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos i'm going to go over the ingredient i used today i use so olive oil extra virgin olive oil by pure blend natural i use the vegetable glycerin usp 99.7 i know you've been making a lot of skincare products but you have not been using the right ingredient to um for cosmetic uh, formulation so head over to pureblendnatural.com this is where pureblend natural is owned by a certified formulator so she knows more about you know skincare ingredients and she knows the right you know great to use for your product that's why we trust pureblendnatural.com you can get everything you need to make stable more you know more effective skincare product there at naturalskincarescool.com you can also buy your skincare product at wholesale price so they say ready made skincare products so ready made soap toners you know shampoo at wholesale price to the public so thank you so much for watching everyone look in the description box below for a link to get everything i use to make this very very radiant radiant uh, olive oil lotion today this is the one i made before previously as you can see it has taken nicely can you see so this is the consistency you're going to get okay as it thickens this is the one i made previously and look at the one i made just now now before you bottle it you have to let it cool down okay so once it has cooled down you can bottle in any enclosure of your choice okay thank you so much everyone for watching show me love by clicking that subscribe button and the notification icon and also continue to enjoy my videos don't forget visit naturalskincarescool.com if you want to learn how to formulate more more products thank you for watching happy formulating everyone